So with just three days before the ban on plastic bags takes effect in the country, the Ministry of Environment hosted stakeholders at KICC in Nairobi to revamp efforts in sensitizing the public on alternative ways of packaging products. But as KTN's Timothy Otieno now reports, it may take more than an exhibition to realize full implementation of a concept many still appear to be struggling to accommodate. At the KICC, many stream in, struggling to get a glimpse and acquire what will no doubt be a household commodity for many Kenyans. And here, woven bags, non-woven bags, and even more plastics are on display. They do look like plastics, but they are not plastics. Uh, Cygrin Africa Limited has a very unique product. Our bags are purely made out of waste vegetable starch and vegetable derivatives. The making of such plastic bags that are biodegradable is what the government hopes will help replace the old plastics into something more environmentally friendly. This is a piece of the bag that we've just torn off. If you put it in hot water, just to accelerate the process, you'll see... Just lift it up. It starts breaking which is not a property of plastic, but of starch. The various displays seeking to attract a group of Kenyans who will be willing and ready to embrace the change come Monday. But are Kenyans really ready? This ban has come too early because uh, everybody is not ready. The manufacturers, the organizations that normally depend on packaging, and even the local manager. It's something that okay, it will take time to adjust. But at the, in the long run, it will help us as a country. Because for sure, these papers, the way guys dispose them, it's just a menace. But what may be a true menace to others is the fact that they feel that their livelihoods are at stake because of the ban. A section of traders from Thika town took to the streets protesting the government move to ban the use of plastic paper bags, claiming that it will severely affect their operations. Ile serikali ingefanya ni kuweka mikakati ya vile watu watajua vile watakuwa wana dispose hii makaratasi wakishatumia. Mtupe muda hiyo tarehe iko karibu sana. Mtupe muda ingine at least ikuwe miezi ingine kadhaa ndio watu wakuwe wamezitayarisha. But the government says it will not budge. Polythene bags are petrochemicals that are pollutants that are toxic. It is my duty to address all toxins in the country, be it air pollution, be it lead poisoning, be it uh, petrochemicals. That is what I am addressing. In Meru County, local NEMA officials say they are ready to effect the ban. They hope such ISOs littered with plastic waste will be a thing of the past. We have done enough sensitization. As we talk, we have a roadshow going uh, around the whole county, sensitizing people about the ban. And with just three days left before the ban takes effect, many remain pensive that the ban will do little to create a better environment, but more towards bringing economic turmoil and loss of jobs. Nonetheless, a greater concern rests on whether or not the country's latest move will lead to the creation of a better waste management system that will ensure a greener, cleaner, healthier environment. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.